Hey Capties, this is um, the love readings for the Capricorn Sun Moon Horizon sign. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Um, Capricorns, the monthly readings are already up. Check out the full moon readings. Download the full moon readings because those full moon readings have so much more information. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be fanning because it is bloody hot. Okay. So, um, what's coming up for um, the Capricorn in love in the month of September? Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, oh, 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 some of you who are in relationship with different um, people, if you're traveling to location, if you were planning on traveling to see someone in love, you know, you have to think about it. It's a waste of time. Some of you could meet someone on vacation or on an island or however way. You know, it's as if you're you're using your time. It's as if you're not seeing that this relationship isn't going anywhere. And it is as if I want it to work, but as if you realize that it wasn't meant to be, but you still push and you want it to work. I think somehow in September, you're going to be realizing I'm wasting my time. It is time for me to move on from this. This is not healthy. This is not what um, I'm looking for. So, you know, um, a lot of you who are in relationship are going to be realizing in the month of uh, September. I don't know if this is what I want. I don't know if uh, um, this relationship is healthy for me. So that 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 sort of a thing is going to be transpiring for you. Um, a lot of you are going to be really thinking, what is relationship? Is it is it something for me why am I not in relationship a lot of questions are going to be coming up and for the people who are in relationship it's gonna be like you know what is really going on so unexpected gifts are going to be coming up so some of you who are in relationships um, your partner could be being really nice to you um, I think some of you really came to um, the awareness that your partner really loves you or really care for you I think they're going to be gifting you something if it's not you um, been received the receiver of a gift um, you you could be gifting someone a gift of love or this whenever the gift comes up in a love reading it's always like um, materialistic but it's always more of a baby okay so this is going to be a beautiful month especially in love because I think some of you are going to be gifting yourself the knowledge of uh, you know this relationship is not really LT I'm going to finish this relationship or it's going to give a gift you the knowledge of uh, um, you know I have someone who is beautiful let me just work on this relationship so you know gifts comes up in different ways it's as if some of you are going to be blessed with the right person some of you are going to be blessed it's as if the universe have seen that you have gone through so much bullshit relationship and the universe is going to be blessed in you with the right person at the right time at the right place and that sort of a thing so I'm seeing this energy of gift that is coming up for you Capricorns is, is basically that the universe is about to offer you something in especially when it comes on to love the universe is saying you know you have gone through so much hey um, we're changing up the energy vibration in relationship for you and we're going to be gifting you something else okay so let's see what is coming out in a communication for you Capricorns some of you Capricorns are going to be communicating clearly to people you are going to be using the sort of truth to cut through the BS in relationship and around you some of you could be communicating um, to someone who is in a professional job 
some of you it could be um, if you're a lawyer you could be meeting another lawyer that could be good and true communication you're going to be seeing that there is a connection some yes 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 that is coming up okay um, in strength you mature women are going to find your inner strength whenever it comes on to love it's as if you are going to be realizing that it's either um, you know you're not going to be weeping and mourning whether or not you're in a relationship it's as if you know what it is it's what it is <laughs> you ladies are going to be like what it is is what it is okay so it's as if you stand in your power and in your truth so it's as if you know I'm who I am and uh, that's how it is you know you're not going to be hoping that people likes you and cares about you and that sort of a thing you're just gonna be thinking hey you know I'm who I am accept me or not uh, new love is coming in so for you Capricorns um, that is an unexpected gift and new love is going to be coming in so unexpected gift and new love is going to be coming in for you Capricorn so um, this is beautiful and this is wonderful because what is happening and what is transpiring is that um, this is coming up where unexpected gifts are coming in and these unexpected gifts are new love that is going to be coming in so these are not past life these are just people who you're going to be meeting who are new love definitely I told you about something about travel because that was I was seeing that someone is traveling so you could be traveling to meet someone else and then you met another person like you're traveling to meet someone and you met someone on the plane or you met someone in the bus or you met someone in the train but you're traveling to um, your partner or someone you're seeing and you're going to meet someone new and it's for the women 40 and older okay then um, in passion oh my god in the in the passion freedom it's as if you are free it's as if you in the passion you're free because um, you know exactly what you want your partner know exactly what you want it's as if things just fall into place and you feel as free as a bird in the tree because you feel as if life has opened up doors and it's as if in the in the sense of passion and this is beautiful because not a lot of people gets this okay um communication is going to be there so I'm seeing a lot of you communicating with a new love um, some of you um, mature women might think about open relationship might okay and it's so strange I'm seeing like the men you men are just cool this month um, definitely um, you mature women if you're traveling you're definitely going to be meeting someone and this person is going to be the love of your life but this new love is coming in so people who are traveling if you meet someone on your journeys this is a new love that is going to be coming in some of you um, who are in high position professional position I'm seeing in the passion you're feeling free as if uh, you have never felt so good in your entire life it's as if exactly how you wanted life to be and um, how life is going especially in the, 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 the passion it is just good you women are just cool with yourself it's as if you women are finally realizing that I don't need to push against the grid anymore I am the grid <laughs> BAM <laughs> it's as if whatever because um, you know I feel good all over I am I, I I feel good in who I am and you know it's as if nothing is going to hit you off your game especially in love in this month for you Capricorns so the center is that unexpectedly the universe is going to be sending a new love in your life whoa bam 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 okay I was wondering when this is going to start happening so let's see what is coming out there is a message freedom uh, stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and fate will bring you romance okay so this is good let go of control issues 
let go of control issues um let go of control issues allow this situation to unfold okay so this is coming up in passion in the the the, the area of passion in some of you life um, some of you needs to stay optimistic okay stay optimistic especially in passion where you realize that you know don't push against the grid let it come to you okay don't push against grid just let it come to you some of you let go of the control issues whatever the control issues are in your relationship that is what is killing your passion in your relationship okay so whatever the control issue is especially you mature women that's what is killing the passion in your relationship okay so some of you if you are um some of you I'm, I'm receiving the energy if it's not a lawyer is that you're dealing with a lawyer it doesn't have to be a lawyer it can be someone in power someone in government institutes the organization um, legalities if you're dealing with someone they're going to be falling um, in love with you and this is going to be turning out to be a very passionate relationship and it's as if your angels and guides are saying and the angels of love are saying allow your heart and soul to sing with joy okay because it's as if they are providing this person for you they are definitely providing this person for you and it's as if your your heart and soul is going to be singing with joy so it's an unexpected gift that is coming in and it's a, this is so unexpected because it's as if you went um, for help organization institutes or whatsoever you met someone and somehow the passion or the connection is so passionate and they're saying allow the heart to sing of joy okay some of you mature women 45 years and older needs to have a heart-to-heart -heart talk you need to have a conversation with your partner honestly discuss your feelings um, because some of you are missing the passion in your relationship you need to communicate this you need to honestly open up yourself and said to your partner listen um, you know I'm missing the passion in my relationship there's needs to be some honest uh, um, communication honest communication is going to be the key so that this relationship can last okay honest communication is going to be the key some of you could be traveling and and you need to release the ex okay so what the what is happening is that I'm seeing that some of you are traveling to see um, someone but um, you're gonna be meeting someone on, on on this travel okay so you're traveling to see someone it's your partner you're traveling to see them um, but you met someone and they're saying release yourself from this ex okay trust this new person that is coming in your life because this was meant to be trust the new person that is coming in your life because it was meant to be true love true love true love true love this is true love oh my god oh my god ladies and gentlemen true love this is the romance of a lifetime bam Cappy. <laughs> okay okay Cappy. okay all right so a new love is coming in and this is true love this is the romance of a lifetime that you guys were waiting on okay so um cappies um this is wonderful this is the gift that the universe is gifting you guys is this new love that is coming in and this is really true love this is the new love this is the true love that is coming in and it's the romance of a lifetime that you have been waiting for so go for it hold on to it because this is what you have been looking for so um cappy this is true love a new love is coming in and it's going to be a true love and it's the romance that you have been waiting for in a lifetime oh my god this is so good cap is okay so we're having some of you who are constantly texting constantly wants to know where your partner is you need to let go of this issue okay so some of you are constantly texting and constantly wants to know 
wants to know where your partner is let this go because this is what is killing your relationship this is what is killing the passion in your relationship okay so whatever that is transpiring whatever that is happening listen if you need to control someone it doesn't make any sense you be in a relationship okay honestly honestly ladies and gentlemen if you need to know where this person is 24 hours that means you do not trust this person you should not be in a relationship as this one okay so you need to understand that whatever is transpiring in uh, this month whatever that is transpiring in relationship if you're constantly on the telephone and constantly texting texting someone that means the trust between you and this person is not that you want to connect with this person is because you're not trusting this person this is the reason why um, you're always constantly on the phone and wants to know what this person is doing so you know it it, it is hard um, and this is it when you don't trust the person it's like I have to live with the devil I have to live with that person because at least you know that that person you 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 can't trust so that's how you look at it okay but you know for healthy relationships you need to find people who you can trust and know you know if my partner said they're here or there that's where my partner is I don't need to always be on the phone to find out so this is what is going to be happening to some of you where you're going to be realizing that you're balancing out relationship and you're understanding but there is still some of you that is constantly and this is what you need to learn let it go let it go okay let it go let it go let it go and some people are going to say oh it's easy for you to say let go well ladies and gentlemen if you are in a relationship with someone that you have to constantly wants to know where this person is then it's not healthy in the beginning okay it's not a healthy relationship okay because you, you relationships are built on trust and built on being um, balancing to know and having respect for the other person's space and time okay all right ladies and gentlemen for the single Capricorn I'm asking the angels of love okay so single Capricorn came out these are the working women um you are going to be meeting a past life you're going back to the past life you're thinking about past life you want to reconnect with people from the past life and this is definitely going to be happening for you ladies because and it doesn't have to be um, ladies is uh, the energy of male and female so some of you have been working very hard and some of you you might have been divorced or separated whatever divorce or separation and you're thinking about that okay so it's as if some of you singles wants the past relationship to come back it's as if you can't move forward because you're holding on on the past so most of you or basically all in on on a past love past relationship because it's as if uh, um, that is what you want you miss it and uh, you hope that it will return okay but you know you will not learn that there is different um, different things in a relationship if you hold on on the same okay so what else is coming out for the singles so, um, young men are um, especially young professional um, people um, you're single and you're looking for love it's as if uh, um, you are so single um, you're looking for love but you seem to be looking for love in the wrong places okay um, and pay attention to the red sign it keeps on coming out especially single people when you're dating pay attention to the red sign as you see the red flags the red sign do not um, connect with that person because that means you're going to be having issues so let's say you go out for dinner with someone and this person I is all over the place okay it can be two things when the person eyes all over the place one is because the person could be and don't give me that bullshit creative people because creative people have to do oh I'm so creative and that's the reason why I'm looking all over the place booze 
it's not true if you're in love with someone and you're out with the person it's about going to dinner it's about communicating with the other person trying to learn something about the other person getting to know the other person so bulls that people are saying no I'm so no it's I'm creative and I just like to look at people and you you like to look at people go the hell and sit and go look at people you don't need to be in a relationship and going on a date okay bloody waste of time don't believe that shit okay so look out for the red sign you singles out there okay and free yourself from um, the BS of that is happening around you so if you're out with someone and their eyes are all over the place and have no interest in what you have to say and the rest of it get up walk away and block the person that means they need to be out there so they can spend the rest of their lives looking at what they're looking because most of them looks and never say anything and end up alone okay so don't let anyone disrespect you so if you go out on a date and the person eyes is all over the place so let it go let it go that's the first red flag they're not interested in what you have to say they just want to be seen out with someone okay <laughs> there's a lot of gossip that is going on in relationships so now we're moving on um, to the couples so you young ladies um, there is a lot of gossip that is going on and this is this is like destined to happen there's a lot of gossip that is going on in uh, the relationship and um, you ladies you know stop you know stop gossiping um, some of you young people are just in a relationship for money okay it's all about money some of you are just in a relationship this is karma this is karma some of you um, people um, blonde women is coming up is in a relationship for only money you're not in love with the person they're gonna find us out uh, I'm seeing the young um, people coming up in this passion and this um, twin flame so a lot of you young people are going to be finding your twin flame and soulmate and it is really a month of twin flame and soulmate I saw it come up for another sign that all these one sign got twin flame and soulmate coming up in the same month which was so good so um, some of you young men are having a lot of passion that you're having passion with someone and this person is a twin flame so if you young men Feel that the passion is off the chart with someone you're in a relationship with is your twin flame okay this is good so you Capricorns are definitely um, you young people are going to be um, meeting your twin flames um, so and um, some of you are going to be connecting with a true gem this is someone who is just so very um, positive so so very wonderful so very positive just a powerful person that is going to be touching you and touching your heart chakra okay all right let's check this out let's check this out <laughs> okay um all right so you ladies you know sometimes you like to talk to your girlfriends and the rest of it Sometimes it's good to keep your business to yourself, okay? Especially when it comes on to relationship. Because I'm seeing some of you ladies talking to your girlfriend and thinking, oh, yeah, they do understand. They're gossiping behind your back. As you hung the telephone up, they're on the telephone with their other friends gossiping over you. So I would think and I would say to you ladies, keep your business to yourself, okay? So a lot of you young ladies, you know, are communicating and with your friend, your girlfriend and the rest of it. And um, this is like uh, um, they're stabbing you in your back. So you need to there is gossip. Let's see where this gossip is coming from, because it could be um, it's like people are gossiping over you and your relationship. OK so there is a lot of gossip that is going on and a lot of um, the gossip is coming from that people think that you could do much better okay but 
sometimes it's not um, their business um, but there is just going to be unexpectedly you're going to be finding out what they have been gossiping over you okay you're going to be finding out what they have been gossiping over you. It's like unexpectedly the gossip is going to be just ending okay some of you who are in a relationship just because your partner can financially support you this is going to come to an end okay so if you are in a relationship a marriage and your partner is you have everything financially stable because of your partner is a karmatic thing and it's going to come to an end okay um so be aware of that ladies and gentlemen you know it's good your Capricorn sometimes you're having issues in your relationship you want to talk to someone but be careful who you talk to because whoever you guys are out there talking to they're bringing your information to someone else okay so um, you know call upon your angels and guides sometimes when you're laying alone and that sort of a thing or write it you know ask your angels and guides because uh, sometimes you think that the people who you are being confident in uh, about your relationship they're the same one that is messing you up okay and sometimes you tell people what's going on with you sometimes it's good to kind of figure it out for yourself or go to someone who is not going to discuss you know call um you know have you know all their reading or, or or one of these things these are the people who you can trust and know that your information because when we do when we do readings we don't discuss people well can't speak for everyone but um, um, you know people like myself when I do readings I do the readings and then I close it off and that's it I don't discuss people um, things so you need to find like a reader that you can communicate especially with a relationship issue that you're going through you need to find a reader that you pay for the the confidence of your information to be old okay instead of you're talking to your girlfriends and then they are um, talking behind your back because basically that's why you have friends so you can communicate but um, some of you out there whatever is going on between you and your girlfriends they are backstabbing you it's like you are going through relationship issues and they it's, it's good to to, do, to use the readers this is why um, you know instead of paying to go to um, um, these consultants and this sort of a thing that's why they are readers because that's what we do we basically help people Ladies and gentlemen, please remember go check out the on the monthly reading of September. Download that because you might see something in that reading about love um, over your relationship. I want to say thank you so much for being here. Please like, share these videos, thumbs up, let me know what's going on. I love you guys. Namaste until next time.